Stepping onto the lunar surface was a monumental achievement, but what did these journeys entail for the physical well-being of the astronauts? Welcome to the gravity of exploration. Apollo astronauts wait through missions. This video delves into the detailed weight records of Apollo crew members, examining how the strenuous conditions of space travel affected their body mass. From the weight checks before launch to their post-mission recovery, each kilogram lost or gained tells a powerful story of the physical demands faced during these epic voyages. Apollo 7 marked a significant chapter in space exploration. Launched in October 1968, it was the first manned mission in the Apollo program. The crew consisted of Wally Skira, Don Isley, and Walter Cunningham. But how did space travel affect their weights? Let's find out. Skira, the commander, launched at 87.1 kilograms. During the mission, he reached a peak weight of 88 kilograms, but returned to Earth at 86.1 kilograms. Isley, starting at 69.4 kilograms, climbed to 71.2 kilograms in space before dropping to 66.7 kilograms upon recovery. What about the third crew member, Cunningham? Walter Cunningham also experienced weight fluctuations. His journey began at 69.4 kilograms, increased slightly to 70.8 kilograms during the mission, and then decreased to 67.8 kilograms by the end of it. Just two months later, Apollo 8 embarked on one of NASA's most audacious missions, orbiting the moon for the first time in history. The crew featured Frank Borman, James Lovell, and William Anders. Did the Apollo 8 astronauts face similar weight changes? Indeed, the effects of space on the body were evident. Borman began at 76.2 kilograms and maintained a stable weight during the mission, only to return at 72.8 kilograms. Lovell, meanwhile, saw an increase from 76.4 kilograms to 78 kilograms before ending at 74.4 kilograms. What about the third astronaut, Anders? William Anders, starting the mission at 66 kilograms, faced the most substantial weight drop among his crew, falling to 64.4 kilograms in orbit and concluding at 62.6 kilograms post-mission. This marked one of the more significant weight reductions observed during the Apollo missions. Building on the valuable lessons learned from Apollo 7 and 8, NASA launched Apollo 9 in March 1969. This mission was crucial for testing the lunar module in Earth orbit, a key step toward lunar landing. The crew included James McDivitt, David Scott, and Rusty Schweikart. How did the Apollo 9 mission affect the crew's weight? McDivitt, commanding the mission, launched at 73.5 kilograms, but experienced a weight drop, returning at 69.6 kilograms. Scott, his command module pilot, saw a decrease from 82.8 kilograms to 78.2 kilograms, highlighting the physical demands even in Earth's orbit. What about Schweikart, the lunar module pilot? Rusty Schweikart started at 74.7 kilograms and, similar to his colleagues, returned lighter at 69.4 kilograms. The challenges faced during their extensive lunar module tests were reflected in their physical condition upon return. With key systems validated by Apollo 9, Apollo 10 could push closer to the moon than any had before. In May 1969, Thomas Stafford, John Young, and Eugene Cernan rehearsed every step of the lunar landing, except the landing itself, orbiting just 15 kilometers above the lunar surface. Did Apollo 10's near-lunar mission impact the astronauts' weights similarly? Stafford, the mission commander, saw his weight drop from 80.1 kilograms to 76.4 kilograms. Young and Cernan also reported decreases from 76.6 kilograms and 79.4 kilograms to 72.3 kilograms and 73.9 kilograms respectively, emphasizing the stress of their close approach to the lunar surface. With Apollo 10 inching so close to the moon, what were the final preparations for the actual lunar landing? The success of Apollo 10 allowed NASA to fine-tune the procedures and equipment that would be critical for the next step, landing on the moon. It set the stage for one of humanity's most historic moments. The stage was now set. The experiences and data from Apollo 7 to Apollo 10 had paved the way for what was to come. A human was about to set foot on the moon. Apollo 11 marked a historic leap for mankind with its mission to the moon in July 1969. 
Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins were poised not only to explore the moon but also to undergo significant physical challenges. What were the weight changes experienced by the crew of Apollo 11 during their monumental journey? Neil Armstrong started the mission at 78 kilograms. Throughout the groundbreaking mission, his weight remained constant until the lunar landing, and upon return to Earth, he weighed 74.4 kilograms, showing a notable decrease after the lunar visit. Did Buzz Aldrin face similar weight changes during the mission? Aldrin, who walked the moon alongside Armstrong, initially weighed 77.6 kilograms. His weight dipped to 75.7 kilograms while on the moon and slightly recovered to 75.3 kilograms by the mission's end. This subtle fluctuation highlights the physical demands of lunar exploration. Meanwhile, Michael Collins, who orbited the moon solo while his colleagues made their lunar landing, began his journey at 75.6 kilograms. His role, primarily inside the command module, led to a decrease to 72.1 kilograms by the end of the mission. What factors contributed to these weight changes observed in the Apollo 11 astronauts? The weight changes can be attributed to several factors, including the reduced gravity environment, altered diet and fluid intake, and the physical exertion during the moonwalks, coupled with the stress of the mission. How did these insights from Apollo 11 influence astronaut health management in subsequent missions? The data gathered from Apollo 11's weight monitoring helped refine health protocols and support systems for future missions. It led to improvements in dietary regulations, physical exercise routines, and overall astronaut health monitoring, ensuring better preparedness for the challenges of space. November 1969, just four months after Apollo 11's successful moon landing, Apollo 12 launched as the sixth crewed mission in the United States Apollo program. Astronauts Charles Conrad, Richard Gordon, and Alan Bean were tasked with extensive lunar surface exploration. How did the weight of the Apollo 12 astronauts change during their mission? Commander Charles Conrad began the mission at 66.2 kilograms. His weight saw a minor increase to 67.7 kilograms during the mission, likely due to fluid shifts in microgravity, before ending at 65.8 kilograms upon return to Earth. What were the weight changes for the other crew members, Gordon and Bean? Richard Gordon, the command module pilot, started at 71 kilograms, maintained a nearly steady weight in orbit, and returned at 67.1 kilograms. Alan Bean, who explored the lunar surface alongside Conrad, had his weight drop from 69.9 kilograms to 63.5 kilograms by the end of the mission, marking one of the more significant weight losses during Apollo missions. The mission's extensive geological sampling and several extravehicular activities contributed to these weight changes. The physical exertion and limited dietary intake during surface operations likely played roles. Apollo 12 highlighted the need for improved management of astronaut health particularly in balancing energy expenditure with nutritional intake. These findings led to enhanced dietary plans and more tailored physical training regimes to better prepare astronauts for the demands of moonwalking. The significant weight loss experienced by Bean especially underscored the importance of closely monitoring health metrics. This spurred advancements in life support systems and spacesuit technology, ensuring astronauts remained healthy and better equipped for their tasks on the moon. As we conclude the first chapter of the gravity of exploration, covering Apollo missions 7 through 12, we have observed the varying impacts of lunar travel on the astronauts' weights. Each mission, with its unique challenges and triumphs, not only advanced our reach into space but also our understanding of its effects on the human body. From the weight variances observed upon their return, we gain valuable insights into the physical demands placed on these pioneers. Stay tuned for part two where we will continue our journey with Apollo missions 13 to 17. As we move forward, the stakes grow higher, and the stories of endurance and adaptation become even more profound. We will explore how the dramatic saga of Apollo 13 and the subsequent missions further shaped our knowledge and prepared us for the future of space exploration. Join us as we delve deeper into the weight records and personal sacrifices of those who carried humanity's dreams beyond our world.